Tight aching legs is very, very common. And a lot of times I would have patients come to see me for totally different conditions, whether it was heel pain or knee pain. But at the same time I used myothotic therapy, they would come back and say, wow, my aching legs has diminished or completely gone. And I'd say, well, you didn't mention the, the tight aching legs before. And generally they say, well, I didn't know I had tight aching legs. I thought it was, it was normal. Exactly, I thought it was normal. So what we find is we all know the musculature at the back of your legs runs, in, runs into your foot. And your foot, as I explained, is made up of many bones and about 25% of all the bones in your body are in your feet. Now, the hard flat ground creates this excess pronatory factor. So as the foot pronates, you get a tractioning right down the leg of all the musculature. So imagine this is the heel, this is the arch, and this is the forefoot. Your foot hits the hard flat ground and you pronate, which is the same mechanism as this, it tractions all the muscles down the back of your leg. Now to patients, a lot of times I say, listen, it's, I'll demonstrate this simply. Just get your hand, I say straighten your arm and pull your hand back. And imagine this is a foot. I say, where do you feel the strain? And they say, up here in the arm. I said, right, it's the same as the leg. So the foot must be stabilised by using an orthotic device, reducing the excess pronation and the frontal plane motion of the calcaneus, and then you take a massive amount of strain off the posterior musculature, and in event, the pains go. So it's a little bit like uh, balancing the wheels on your car. Exactly. It's much like a wheel alignment. That's what an orthotic is. Uh, it's a natural product, in my opinion, as far as what it does do. And again, it allows the foot to function in more of a, a correct motion and increasing its frontal plane motion, which causes the common pains here. With patients who suffer from tight aching legs or increased sensations that run down the posterior crural region, you find that there's a common association with the hard flat ground and excess pronation, which is this um, angle here. If we recorrect the foot to the neutral position, you'll see an incredible rise in the arch, and that's due to the mid-tarsal region locking and going back to its natural position. But more importantly, you've taken off this strain from this posterior crural group. Now let the foot relax. You'll see the foot pronates, the arch collapses out, and you've physically strained all the soft tissue area here, and that causes many of the aches and pains that people suffer from on a daily basis.